MFA programs, they're a weird thing. <laughs> so let's see a show of hands. How many of you have been in an MFA program, are currently in an MFA program, or teach or have taught in an MFA program? A pretty good mess. <laughs> so for those of you who raised your hands, you'll probably recognize the story I'm about to tell. Probably have one just like it of your own. But for those of you who haven't had that experience, you don't need any of the details. This is just one microcosm. So as I was nearing the end of my MFA program, I found myself in a class sitting very close to Ron Austin, who was at the time newer to the program. <clears throat> Workshop classes are often set up in tables, with tables forming a bigger square. And we were each at the end of a table, sort of around the corner from each other. I noticed, after just a couple of weeks, that Ron would hang back for a little bit in the discussion. And then when his turn came, he would hone in on exactly what a story needed to make it work. You could almost see everyone in the room slap their heads, saying, why didn't I think of that? From my vantage point, sitting fairly close, his observation started to become apparent even when he wasn't speaking, with a little bit of a raised eyebrow here and a little hint of a grin there. By the end of the semester, I knew he was one of the most astute readers of fiction I'd ever met and that he was able to use that gift to inform his own writing. Just before our revival issue came out, I went to a reading where Ron was re reading one of his stories, and it was great. We caught up a little, and then I tried to subtly drop a hint that it would be great if he wanted to send in a story to December. I don't know exactly how subtle I was, but pretty soon after, he sent a story in. Then we withdrew that one and sent another one right away. In Freezer Burn, the story he ultimately sent and we took, Ron takes just three pages to tell an intense story with a powerful impact. He's long since finished his MFA, is teaching creative writing at UMSL, Lindenwood, and St. Louis Community College at Florissant Valley. Is that right? Did I get that right? His stories have appeared or will in Natural Bridge, Gulfstream, Midwestern Gothic, and others. He's an associate editor for River Sticks and is also reading fiction submissions for December, too. I'm happy to introduce a formidable reader and a formidable writer, Ron Austin. Thank you.